our friends at Strike. We all uh, have been following Strike. Actually, they, they kind of dropped off a little bit in the last year, but the year before was definitely Strike's year um, uh, to, to, to grab some headlines. So, um, Strike has expanded its lightning network powered remittances to the Philippines. And this is pretty important because the Philippines is a huge remittance market, $35 billion. And Strike is going to use that service, use its service to help people uh, send money over the Bitcoin Lightning Network, which is a second layer on top of Bitcoin. It's like this really super fast system that allows you to send money, uh, send value rather uh, very quickly and with like practically no fees. And what I, I have to, I have to add a personal note to this. The very, very first article that I ever wrote about Bitcoin was about remittances to the Philippines. And it's what kind of, that was my rabbit hole moment. So I get excited every time I see a story about remittances to the Philippines, um, because it really is massive. Uh, and this was way, way back in the day, I wrote this before, well, well, well before Lightning, when it really was about as cheap to send Bitcoin as it is to send Bitcoin over Lightning now, um, and how it was sort of kicking uh, Western unions butt when it comes to fees. So this is a story that's been, you know, long in the making, and and a lot of people are excited about being able to send their remittances, have remittances to and from the States and the Philippines. Um, they uses the, the service Send Globally, uh, which is also in other countries as well. So, uh, yeah, anybody want to chime in on this one? Okay, Wendy? These types of stories just make me happy. It just shows how crypto and Bitcoin can provide real life solutions for people that are experiencing some sort of inequality or have high, you know, high, high costs to do things to have access to their money. I mean, it's a common phrase that, you know, human rights equal people being able to do what they want to do with their money and have control over it. But at the same time, we don't see that that is in fact reality. So again, that's one of the really great use cases for Bitcoin. And I will add, I will get a little saucy here and say thank you to altcoins and cryptocurrency for forcing you know, a lot of the people that are building Bitcoin to create these additional solutions that make it easier to use and transact with Bitcoin. Because at the end of the day, Bitcoin is great. It's a fantastic technology, but it can be stated that it is a little bit outdated. And I do think that Lightning is a great way to kind of help, especially when we're going to start to see a lot more transactions on the Bitcoin blockchain. When I was reading the story, I thought back to the many, many, many years that I was in school and I did a deep dive into the remittance market and kind of did a lot of research into the pain points that that have been kind of rife in the remittance market for so long. It's super slow. The fees are super high. It's like really difficult and archaic. You have to go to like physical locations in a lot of these countries to send money to people like halfway across the world. It takes a really long time. And I love that there are crypto companies out there that are really working to solve some of these pain points. I know almost every time we talk about an international story, I'm like, I live there. But I lived in the Philippines for only seven <laughs> months, but I did live there for seven months. And remittances was, was, again, like just speaking to people who live there, a huge, huge issue for them receiving money from overseas. A, a lot of the people who I spoke to weren't really sending money out. But when they were receiving money, it was... Um, a big headache for them. When I was reading the story, I was thinking like, what about on and off ramps though? And then I got to the end and read this part that I just want to read out loud because it addresses that, that concern. So the app converts dollars into Bitcoin, sends the funds on the Lightning payment system to a third party partner in the recipient's country, and then the money is converted to fiat in that country. And I think that that is awesome. So I am 100% for the story. Zach, what do you got? Yeah, yesterday we talked about that big kerfuffle about um, NFTs on Bitcoin. And now here we are back to, you know, maybe the true foundational use case for the Bitcoin network, right? This, this, uh, you know, this global payment rail that you can send money across borders with ease without having to interact with an intermediary such as Western Union or others who are uh, seeking high rents in this instance, right? You hear all these numbers about uh, the, 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 how, how many fees are associated with this stuff. And for people who have to contend with this on a daily basis, crypto is really compelling in this, in this regard, right? Bitcoin is really compelling when it comes to sending money across the world for cheap without having to pay fees through the nose to people who are um, operating these services, right? So I think it is always nice to hear these stories about um, kind of getting back to that 
peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash, right? Peer-to-peer -peer payments, right? And this is what we're seeing in a way that speaks to that true Bitcoin ethos of transcending borders, connecting people, and ultimately making the financial system a bit more fair for those who rely on these services to get by. Christy, I want to give you the last word on this one for sure. Yeah. And, and one other thing about this that um, is actually kind of important is that it takes place um, in such a way that it removes any potential tax implications that could result from the sale and disposition of Bitcoin. So usually this doesn't, in other words, it does not create a taxable event for the user. Um, Strike just kind of takes care of all of that in the background for you, which is really cool because that's another big thing. Like you don't want to have to worry about putting a, $20 remittance, uh, you know, exchange of Bitcoin on your tax return.